What's up, everybody? We're back. We're en route to Aspire Coffee. We have a few destinations set up in the navigation today to do some more city streets testing. Ooh, that was aggressive pulling around that turn. Ooh, nice speed as well. Let's check the settings. I do have it, oops, wrong button. So I do have it in average today. Minimal lane changes turned off. We do have the automatic set speed offset turned on. Oh, hesitation for the lane change. So we're still having that bug with the lane chain, lane change hesitation. I feel like once we knock that out, this is solid. So today's goal on this route, we're gonna see if we can get there with no disengagement. Currently it's about, let's see our full route. So we're on route to Aspire Coffee, 0.7 of a mile. I do wanna, oh, change in lanes again. This is actually a great lane change here to be in the straight lane. Let's take a look at our route. Oh, it's trying to change lanes again wrong. Let me go ahead and arrow over one more time. Now for testing purposes, when I do drive on my own, I do report all the bugs. Just wanna mention that, or as many as I can. Now for testing purposes, I wanna to try to see if we can go no disengagement. All right, this car is going, we're hesitating. Good control there though. But yeah, so, oh, that, the hell was about to disengage there. That van was coming pretty fast. And well, what I was saying is that I'm gonna to try to keep it from disengaging. So anything I can do, maybe throttle or uh, scroll wheel to change the speed. I'm gonna to try to keep it engaged. That's the goal. So here's our route. We've got Aspire Coffee. We've got the Lacrosse Field Sports Complex and In-N-Out Burger. All right, here's our first challenge. We do have a U-turn set up here and there's a big truck right in the way. All right, we're clear in front of us. I have a feeling it's going to pull into this complex like I did the other day. All right, another car's coming now. One and two. We are inching up, so we might be able to pull off this U-turn. Or right, clear up to the Mazda. And it looks like it's going for the U-turn. Ooh, nice and tight. I like that steering wheel control. Very good. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and uh, cancel our route to Aspire. We are set at 10 here. Let's goose it just a little bit. Or I guess it didn't do anything there. Let's see. Let it reroute. Okay, we're, we're starting to back up traffic. I'm gonna speed up a little. It is kind of hesitant around this construction. So we'll take a right here at the stop sign. Not sure why it's going so slow. This truck behind me is wondering what's going on. Okay, I had to put in the throttle just a little bit there to get it to go. Very good lane choice. This is where I am seeing improvement on 12.3.6. And let's go ahead and pull it up. So software, we're on version 12.3.6. We have our next, we can check for our next update at 4.53 p.m. Great job around that turn. Yeah, and checking on Testify right now, there's still about 740 people waiting for Wi-Fi for the 24 dot 3.25 which is this release with this FSD still got a push going out to 2024.14.3 about 111 that's that new UI refresh the spring update I can't wait until we get this version of FSD on the spring update vehicle configuration update pending changes will apply once the touchscreen is off interesting never seen that not too sure what's pending I don't see any updates. Sometimes if you have an update, it'll be up here. I wonder if it heard me talking about the spring update and it's gonna be pushing us an update. Changing lanes. Oh, hesitation. That hesitation on the lane changes has become so consistent. I just wanted to see if we had any other routes here. I, do, I don't wanna get on the freeway, so we're gonna take this route here. So how have you guys been doing? Have you got the FSD update? We're on 12.3.6 is the latest version. I still think it's um, much better than 12.3.4. I was hearing some people talk about on X how 3.4 was better for them. This one is definitely improved. There's still a lot of indecisiveness and errors, but it's definitely, you can feel the confidence. All they gotta do is really turn up that dial to make it more confident. Smooth sailing. Ooh, we got another route, so let's go ahead and take it. Change into the right lane. Now, I'm not sure if, is this a right, 
I think this is a left a left uh, turn. Oh, I see what it's doing. So I've had this happen before. The, the route on the navigation is messed up. So it should just take a left when we're coming up here, but instead it's gonna take a right and do a U-turn. So let's test it out again. I think this is the second time I've tested out this U-turn U -turn here. I merge into the right lane, take a right and do the U-turn. Not bad, they're still a little hesitant though. It's in the bike lane at, I think, I wanna say about two hesitations there. All right, so we're gonna merge all the way over and initiate the U-turn. This is a pretty tight U-turn. I wanna say it did complete it the last time as well. All right, we're clear in front of us, no traffic behind. One Jeep pulling out. All right, so in this situation, we are pulling into the parking lot. You can see here though, it was gonna route for the U-turn, but since it couldn't do the U-turn, we're in the parking lot, let's see how it reroutes. Let's go ahead and go this way if we have time. It would go straight. I think I rerouted it a little bit too late. Let's check. Yeah, so it's gonna reroute again. We got pedestrians coming up here. We're slowing down for them. Being very cautious, definitely slowed down to a more safer speed. Just inch by them. I still wanna go this route though. The... Yeah, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna pull out the same way we came in. Once we get to our next destination, I do wanna test out Auto Park, remind me. All right. So yeah, this is gonna get us back and do the original U-turn we should have, uh, original direction. Just inching out of the parking lot, very slow, very cautious. I don't, again, I don't mind this in the parking lot. We're just cruising, it's super aware of all, everything around. And just the fact that it can pull into these complexes and pull out, it's pretty sweet. All right, so we're gonna be taking a right and going straight through the light. I can't really see to the left yet. You can kind of see the visibility is blocked there. All right, we are clear. Want to get in the left lane. We're in the right turning lane. All right, very good, perfect. Now, once we cross this stoplight, the lanes, um, we kind of have reduced lane markings and oversized lanes, so let's see how it handles it. It's been doing great, and that's the beauty of V12. Got the green light, I'm gonna go ahead and goose it. It wasn't taken off there. So yeah, V12 definitely handles these larger lanes much better. And I feel like each version, it gets a little bit tighter on the lanes, the way it holds the lane if there's a reduced markings. Got a nice wide lane here. Two point six miles, eight minutes till our destination. I'm pretty sure we might get another route. I want to see if we get another route. All right, we kind of dove over, heading towards the middle lane. All right, we did get some more routes here, but ahead of our destination. Perfect. So yeah. Um, for testing purposes, I'm not going to disengage to report the bugs, but I will be. I have been reporting them on all my drives when I'm not recording. It's just it makes things a little bit easier for me. It's it's it gets kind of tricky reporting all the bugs, and my kind of goal on the testing is see if we can get there on no disengagement. So if we report bugs, we're going to be disengaging the whole route. But definitely important. I did have another comment. Um, I'm not looking at it right now, but they mentioned something about, actually it was two of them. All right, we're taking a right. Oh yeah, so he said, how do you get this FSD push to your car? So this is a 2023 Model 3 Performance. I subscribe to the FSD, and then you just gotta hope and pray. I would definitely pull up that Testify tracker and check your uh, FSD updates and manually check once a day. If you go into the software settings, you can go ahead and manually check once a day. For me, lately, I've been getting all the updates by manually checking it. It's only pushed it to me maybe once in the last couple months or so. So smooth. It's 
try a lane change to the left. This is a manual lane change where I just put down the stock. And I can't wait for that Highland performance. No more stocks. I don't know. I must be the only one excited not to get stocks. Let's try a right lane change here. Initiated. So those two lane changes, pretty well done. No hesitation. Got the green light. 1.4 miles to our destination, about four minutes in route. Once we do get to the lacrosse center, I'm gonna let it pull us in. Not too sure how their parking lot's set up, but we will trust, test out an auto park. I'm loving this new version. And one thing about the new versions and the, the reason I love using it every single day, because for some reason, I feel like there's little things that get better. Every day is a mixed bag of tricks. Very wild, nice lane positioning. Crossing over the bridge. Looks like we'll be taking a left turn here at the light. Very good, perfect lane maneuver. Got the unprotected left. Just one car coming ahead. We do have traffic behind as well. So I think, okay, now they got their arrow. So I'm not gonna do anything. I'm gonna wait for just a second. And as soon as they go, okay, perfect. I was gonna goose it because of traffic behind, but just wanted to make sure. But I like that behavior, letting them go first. So that way they can choose. It's a pretty big lane. Although as a human beta driver, I would have goosed it real quick. Like I, I feel like human drivers, a reaction time is very little. So we're very aggressive, very assertive compared to FSD. And again, we do have it in the, the average setting. I, I kind of feel like average is probably the best. Chill, I don't like it. It feels like it makes a lot of errors. And I'm not sure if it's just a placebo of me thinking that or just that certain drive. Ooh, bumpy, bumpy. All right, we're taking it right here. But I, I definitely like average for the best so far. I've used assertive a lot. But just, just feeling this drive today on average feels pretty darn sweet. A right, little early break and a little modulation going on there. We're clear to the left. We've got the red light. Perfect turn. We got 0.4 of a mile, one minute. Should be right over here on the right. We'll do that auto park and then we'll go continue on route to In N Out Burger. is our entrance to the lacrosse sports park, Durango. So many cool little parks around town that you can take your kids while they're growing up. You know, once they get to a certain age, forget about the parks, maybe the skate parks, even then. All right, we're pulling in. Our uh, destination is over to the side here. So let's go ahead and uh, cancel FSD and try an auto park. Let's see if we can get in there one shot. We'll just Pull up like this, full stop, one and two. Looks like we are pulling up to line up. Let's get it in there in one shot. That would be great. How has your auto park been doing? One shot, two shots, three shots? That looks like it's gonna nail it. Kind of a lot of steering control as it's backing in, getting close, I've noticed. And we have arrived. All right, we're still on route. We're gonna go and continue trip. I like that. Let's go ahead and put it in drive. We're gonna wait for the autopilot to show up. It is regenerating, powering up, and let's go. I'm so glad you guys commented about that. I was wondering what was going on. Click, 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 click. Never would turn on. Now, now you just got to charge up beta. Creeping out of this parking lot. So 1.9 miles, six minutes till our destination. What's on the menu at In-N-Out Burger today? All right, we're totally clear to the left. Gonna be merging over to the far lane. I'm liking this average. Nice smooth two lane change. 
definitely FSD. This is probably the best FSD drive I've felt so far. Just a uh, seat in the button seat type of feel, you know? All right, let's merge over into this far lane, no hesitation, stay out of the merge. So it definitely tried to choose that lane a little bit earlier, which helped, but we still kind of missed the opening a little bit. Not bad though. Apply slight turning force to the steering wheel. Got the protected green left. In the past, it has merged kind of tight to the oncoming uh, turning lane, but this time much better. That lane right there where that truck was sitting, sometimes they pull out a little bit, and in the past, Beta's got pretty close. Beautiful Model X that passed by. 1.4 miles, four minutes. Got the auto max set speed offset on. This is version 12 on the city streets. I can't wait till we see B12 on the highways. Nice and smooth. Got traffic behind us pacing. That's pretty smooth. Slowing down for this car doing the U-turn. I don't think I've disengaged yet. I mean, even in the last couple of days driving, I feel like much less disengagement. Apply a slight turning force. Now we're gonna to wanna to merge over into the right turn lane right after this entrance to the plaza. The plaza, I don't even call them plazas. I must have picked that up from someone else's YouTube channel. All right, we got the protected green, right? Very smooth, consistent speed. Perfect turn. I love that acceleration. I love when you can hear the performance motors winding up. Like, it's just a beautiful sound. You kind of get that in the rear wheel drive as well. It's just not as powerful. Point five of a mile, two minutes to in and out burger. Been doing really good on these S turns. Do you remember on any of my old videos back in the day where it would just turn on the blinkers left and right, left and right in this area? I think that was V11. I want to say that has almost gone away. There's a couple times where it's putting on the blinkers, phantom blinker that I've had in this last week, but it's really just kind of almost gone away. Now, traffic behind is pushing on us. They say we're going a little bit too slow in here. Our right, emerging over, very good. I always leave, I always love seeing a car that's driving really fast and all their bumpers are all damaged, like they just run into everybody. All right, we're gonna be pulling into this tight little gap here for in and out. That's a pretty cool little Mercedes Airstream there. Autopilot navigation complete, press accelerator to resume. So that's what it always shows you once you get to your destination. Quite a bit of traffic coming up here. All right, looks like we're clear after these two cars. Another one's coming though. FSD's cocking the wheel, getting prepared. This can be a uh, tough intersection. Just because you have to wait. We're still clear behind, no traffic. I think after this Toyota, oh, another one just pulled in. I'm trying to think when I would jump out. Maybe after this uh, Kia. Oh, now here comes a Honda. See, I wouldn't have squeezed in that gap either after this Honda. Let's go. I'm not touching anything. All right, FSD's going perfect. And that's probably the first opportunity it had. Let's go ahead and disengage. Look at all this traffic going on here. This is called Road Rage Central here at the In-N-Out parking lot. Oh man, that little um, Maverick's trying to jump the curb or something. I just want to get out of this area. All right, let's disengage. Oh, we are disengaged. We saw our route there. 
Let's try one more auto park. For science. Ooh, these are some interesting spots. Let's try to park next to this uh, Jeep here. All right, now I'm behind. We're going to go in this spot. Full stop. One, two. Pull a nut to line it up. Go ahead and end that destination. Let's get it in there in one shot, FSD. You can do it. So far, going wide. Need more uh, steering angle. Oh, we're stopping. That was a fail. We could have kept going back and then recalibrated, so we're pulling up a little bit now. And this is that hesitation that will not fly in traffic. Back on it. So two tries. Doing pretty good though, considering there's not much lane markings. Success, a little long, but it worked. Thank you so much for watching everybody. Definitely hit subscribe if you wanna follow the channel. Smash that like button for sure. And as always, definitely leave me your feedback. That's probably the most important thing out of all of it. And thanks for watching all the way to the end. Have a great day.